Hi. <laughs> Happy whatever day it is. Uh, Monday. <laughs> it's Monday indeed. Hello. We are on a three-day countdown from my vacation. Which is just me staying at home. But it's okay. <laughs> it's, it is vacation for me. It means I become dead to my students until 2024, which just feels fucking weird to say. <laughs> like, I remember, like, early last, like, early this year, like, telling, talking to students about, like, 2024 and graduating in 2024, so this just feels very weird. But, um, yeah, hopefully this last three days at work should be pretty chill, which I'm pretty excited for. Like, tomorrow we have drop-ins and we have, like, pre-orientation advising, which as of right now, like, no one has signed up to see me, so, like, I'm basically going to do nothing for those two hours, and I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of ready for it. Um, also, everyone's bongos are just, like, at different rates and speeds, and it's bugging me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're all wrong on my screen. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, Wednesday is basically holiday party deluxe. I have two holiday parties during the day, and then I'm doing something in Katie's stream in the evening. They're in sync for me. They're not in sync for me. I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. Um, it is a little party. We have Ryland, Alan, and Barry with his Christmas light galore. Brought to you in part by Dogder Who. We love Dogder Who in this household. <laughs> They're Backstreet Boys for me. <laughs> with enough bongos, they'll in inevitably start to get in sync. Yes. Um, I also love them. Um, when we play Alan Wake 2, I'll, I'll put all of them. Because I, I have those um, emote slots I can use. Um, so I'll definitely use them uh, when we get to that point. But as of right now, we'll just have Barry and Alan. <laughs> And those will not be permanent emotes. Those will be, like, temporary emotes. Oh, they are alternating on my screen. They're just, like, bong going like this. <laughs> Hi, Frosty. Welcome. How are you? I feel better today. I don't know what happened yesterday. I ate dinner, and then, like, I felt queasy, and I was like, um, don't like that. Currently looking for a safe space in Alan Wake 2 right now. Oops. <laughs> um... Yeah, Wednesday should be pretty chill at work, and then Thursday I have, like, student appointments and a team meeting, and I should be pretty good in the clear. Um, fun fact, if the university or our department basically says that we get to leave early on Friday, because I called out on Friday, I'm using, um, some of my, some of my leave and taking Friday off, um, if they tell us that, um, we get half day on Friday, I'm gonna call out for the afternoon of Thursday, and it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be lo lovely and wonderful and i'm excited but who knows we haven't heard anything yet but they like to make these decisions last minute so who, who the fuck knows um we shall see um but yes so you might have noticed we have ryland sock a sock a stocking for sir ryland himself with socks on the floor um <laughs> I don't know when these socks got here. I think I did laundry like three weeks ago and that's why they're still here. I don't actually know. But fun fact about the stocking was that I was in the grocery store on Sunday and after I got my side shaved. I was in the grocery store. I had to get um, a gift bag for my mom so I could put her Christmas present in it. And I walked, I walked into the aisle, grabbed the bag, was about to go check out, and I'm like, oh shit, I should check for a stocking, because I checked about, like, a month ago-ish, and it didn't have an R. This was the last letter stocking they had left. And coincidentally, it was the letter R. Like, it was like it was fate in the store. Like, I don't think I've ever felt that way before, where it just, like, it all magically, like, it was the last thing on the shelf. It was the last letter stocking on the shelf um, that Giant had. Um, so... Ryland now has a stocking, and my mom's gonna question why I have a lone stocking in my room, and I'm gonna be like, well, you see, my imaginary boy under my desk says so. 
I'll have to find things to put in there. Because Mary said I could put socks in there, but, like, socks are too big. That's the only thing. Um, like, I was thinking of doing, like, every five gift subs, we put socks in. <laughs> I'll put a sock in. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I, I think I might have, like, ornaments I can put in there. I don't know. Argrim. <laughs> <laughs> or be like my coworker who called me Ray, like R E Y, and forgot to put the G in front. <laughs> Hi, Sammy. How are you? Welcome. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I apologize for my stomach doing the things yesterday. It likes to throw temper tantrums when I'm on my period, and yesterday was no exception. Um, so I have no idea when we're finishing Hellblade because I had already changed the schedule to do end of year shit next Sunday, and that's what we're doing. Because I'm not gonna do it on Christmas Eve, and I'm not gonna do it on New Year's Eve. So I don't know when the fuck I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> so we're sticking with the plan of next Sunday is when we're gonna do the end of the year celebrations. We're gonna do trivia night. We're gonna do, we'll do the Twitch recap stuff there as well. Um, ow, fuck. We'll do it there as well. Um, but I don't know when we're gonna finish Hellblade. I debated because I'm not streaming on this Friday. We're doing movie night this Friday, which I forgot to put on my schedule. It's in the Discord as on Friday, but I don't have it on my schedule scene that I have for this. Um, I might, maybe I'll do an afternoon stream on Friday. Like maybe like a noon ET time, maybe. Um, to finish Hellblade just so we can get it done with. Um, so it's not, like, forever haunting me. Because <laughs> I do want to finish it. I really do want to finish it. Especially after seeing the trailer for Hellblade 2. On, um... After seeing the Hellblade 2 trailer at the Game Awards. Like, I'm very, very hyped for, um, Hellblade 2. Um, it's not a saga, which should be really fun. Um, so... We might do that. Depends. I, I don't know. I don't want to lock anything in. I, I really need to look at my schedule, but like, I don't, I know I'm not going to have any time this week to look at my schedule. Basically tomorrow is I'm going to come home from work. I'm going to make two quiches. I'm going to finish editing the video for Wednesday. And then who knows what time it's going to be at night by then. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so that's kind of where my brain is at. And I have to make two quiches, or I, I technically only need to make one, but, like, I, I said I'll make two. Um, I will be doing, we, we have a potluck for my, um, uh, office on Wednesday, and I said I would make a quiche. But since I, I got two pie crusts, I am making two quiches. Or trying to. At least. I've never made a quiche before. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, it, it's gonna be intriguing, for sure. Um, as, as V would say. Oh, interesting. Thank you, V. I've, I'm also back in my cyberpunk era right now. Like, I, I think it's because the 2.1 patch said you can have your romance of interest hang out with you in your apartment. That's made me be like, I want to see Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I did post some screenshots on Twitter, um, if you're curious to see what I've been up to in Cyberpunk. Um, I finally did all the shit with, uh, Takamura and the parade stunt, so, like, I'm now officially in Act 3. Um, so now I'm, like, doing all of Johnny Silverhand's, like, final requests. <laughs> and I'm finishing up some stuff in Dogtown that I never finished before. Um, I currently have no desire to do the other endings. I have no desire to do them. I just don't care enough. <laughs> like, I want to know what the other endings entail for for uh, for Phantom Liberty, but I have no desire. I, I have- I don't want to. <laughs> I, I just don't want to do them. <laughs> I just want to keep playing and ignoring it. Ignoring that any of that happened. <laughs> Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? <laughs> I mean, if I had time immediately after playing it, 
to do them. I probably would have done them then, but I just wasn't like, I just didn't want to do that. So if I, I could tell you the TLDR sometime, I can go back and read your thoughts on them. Cause I know you posted it in our server um, of your thoughts about the other ending. So to be fair, the ending you did was why I consider the true ending. Fair, cause like at the same time, like maybe I just need to like stream it to somebody and be like, okay, you are going to watch me suffer through this and like watch me in real time do this. So maybe like, I don't know, maybe we'll do that as like a bonus stream during my two week break of me, like of me doing the other endings. Cause like the other two, we have to go back to when we initially like sided with Reed and side with Songbird instead. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll just do that one day during break. Please, I want to I want to scream with you because they're so fucking dumb. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Um, Susie, can you like write that down to th in my things to do area of like p possible cyberpunk marathon stream <laughs> and do the other three endings? Because I think if I had like an audience motivation, I think I would be more inclined to do it. And then we could talk about it, and then we can have a f more full discussion about the things. Um, but, yeah, but tonight we're playing Alan Wake. Alan is snoozing, though. He is snoozing um, tonight. Um, we are starting into, ch we are getting into chapter two. We're probably only going to play chapter two tonight. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, yeah, I'm excited to keep playing. There's something about one of the endings, but you probably work that out playing. Okay. Okay. I mean, we'll figure it out as we go. It it's an idea. Because I will have time over break to, like, work on things and, like, do other stuff. So, like, I won't- I don't mind, like, throwing in a bonus stream here and there. Especially because, like, my mom is coming to visit for Christmas, so it's gonna fuck with my stream schedule a little bit. Um, I have to figure out what she wants to do, too. Because, like, I was thinking of streaming on Christmas, like, Christmas afternoon, evening, but, like, who knows? Who knows? It's, it's fine. Everything is fine. But, um, I hope y'all are well. Um, here is the upcoming schedule for this week. Um, so, obviously tonight, I don't know what the fuck I did as a schedule. Obviously tonight is Alan Wake. Thursday is going to be continuing Mass Effect. Saturday is Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're finishing trial number three. Sunday next week is going to be the end of the year celebratory festivities. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to see you all there. I'm really, really excited to like just recap on the year, celebrate our successes, look forward to the future, and do a little trivia night. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's Alan's sleep. What you ought to feel? It's Alan snooze. He's snoozing. He's taking a big fat nap. Um, is there a weird sound in the background? It's music. Or it should be music. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, there is a weird sound in the background. Hold on. Nope, someone just has a really loud obnoxious car outside. That's what's that's what you're hearing. Someone has a radio blaring. Uh, someone has a radio thing blaring. Yeah, someone has a radio uh, on their car. Somewhere outside. I can't even see it outside. But it's somewhere outside. Because I can hear it through my headset. And I was wondering, like, where the fuck <laughs> on my PC is this playing from? 
Cars and apartment complexes is always the loud ones. I don't fucking know, because they think that they can be the bosses of the town, I guess. I don't fucking know. Um, probably because of, like, in other home homeowner associ associations, like, you really can't. Or, like, it's very frowned upon, but it's like, okay, whatever, bye. Um, okay, let's load into Alan Wake. Hopefully this won't be terribly loud, but we shall see. on a council estate it was the same thing all right alan snooze alan snooze alan snoozes indeed um so we are playing as renowned author alan wake whose wife wait what is this oh Okay, we're just gonna- we're gonna get to the menu screen. Okay. Um, I love that load and sound for the game. I know, right? It sounds so good. Alan naps. Um, so, we are playing as renowned writer Alan Wake. Um, his wife, Alice- do I have a cut here? No. His wife, Alice, has, uh, put them- has gotten them a vacation to Bright Falls, Washington State. Um, as a getaway so that Alan can maybe, like, rest and relax after being on a writer's block for two years after his last novel, The Sudden Stop. Um, which, now saying that out loud, The Sudden Stop, like, if he was, like, <laughs> he suddenly stopped writing. Because, like, all of his other books, like, are titled after something. <laughs> like, because Departure is the book that he's writing now, right? Yeah, isn't it great? It's great. It's, it's so fucking relatable. Um, yeah, so he wrote a book called Sudden Stop, which then he suddenly stopped writing because he had major writer's block. Um, so... He is currently, well, we keep finding manuscript pages as we're going about this, like, little nightmare sequence of him writing Departure, which is basically foretelling what is going to happen in the future. Um, Alice's wife gets somehow dragged into the lake that they are staying in a cottage in. Um, Alan dives in after her, then wakes up in a car wreck. Um, and we're now fighting these monsters called the Taken, and we then find a phone we call the cops and then uh the cop lady something breaker sarah breaker i think um says well there is no house in cauldron lake that didn't exist since the 70s so we're like uh what um host why 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 so, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at. And Alan can't really tell anybody what is happening because he's afraid that he's going to get convicted and not be able to find Alice. And he wants to find Alice. And apparently, like, while in this, like, dark place, he has been missing for a week. So people are panicking about, like, where the fuck he's been. Um, and... I think we should just say, fuck Alice, I hate her, and GTFO. That's my opinion. The game would just be a chapter. We This game would have been over in, like, two hours if we did that. And I would have been all here for it. All here for it. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my Hi, Ash. Mother. How are you? So two taken. New York City three years ago. Oh. 
Look, he's a husband. He got groceries. Look at him. If it wasn't for Alice Wake meddling and forcing her husband to go on holiday. Just Honey, saying. True. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Sir, who are you? You are not Alan Wake. You are anything but him. You are not Alan. You're not the Alan I know. Who are you? You're an imposter. But also, the photo, these photos look fantastic though. These photos look great. I love these photos of, well, it's Ilka's the actor, but yes. Um, doing all right? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're all doing so well. Doing well. We're doing well. Um, we just got home and we are... Ooh, wait, it's snowing outside. Wait, 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 wait. I need to observe. Can I go outside? I want to go outside. Can I go outside? Damn. Oh, man. Trying to see across the way. The giant ass apartment. There's no way. <laughs> That's raw images of Ilka. <laughs> Ilka are beloved. Yeah, for real. Can't confirm sometimes husbands get groceries. We love that. We love that. This place must cost a fortune. I mean, if he's a successful writer, I can believe it. Also, well, he might not be a successful writer as of yet. His jacket does not have leather pads on the el elbow pads. So who knows? But yeah, Ash, we're doing well. Appreciate you being here, friend. Coffee! Coffee fee. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Go to Alice and do what? Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Um, what is that supposed to imply, ma'am? Are you fucking on my Twitch channel? Because I don't like it. Also successful photographer, I believe. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. These look really good. Sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Sorry, no, you can wait. You can wait. You don't you don't need to talk to me right now. I don't need to talk to you right now. We need to have Alan Wake read to us. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lay me. No, this is trench! Chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my this is head. Trench's voice actor. Of my own private snuff movie. I'm okay with Trench reading to us. Corpse, alone at my own wake, thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. I love Trench's voice actor. I love Trench's actor from Control. He just has a wake of. They all have really good voices to listen to. Like Alan, um, Darling, Trench. Like, I can listen to the mall talk for hours. He's also Alex Casey. Oh, okay. I was like, who? <laughs> yeah, Trench from a. Uh, uh, Control. He's the former director of um, the FBC. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It Thirteen had been a long years. Time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer, mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby honey i'm home this is alex casey reading to us for this book 
Interesting. Honestly, Trench telling us shit and control is so soothing. I enjoy listening to his hotline messages. Yes. Yes. Even if I didn't necessarily agree with his politics and what he did in the end of it, in the end of it all, to avoid spoilers, um, he, he had a very nice voice to listen to. You're Please fine. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. The fall of Casey, the things that want Alex Casey, what I can't forget, return to sender. Interesting. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Ma'am, shut the fuck up. Let me do my job as a husband, all right? The fuck is the fuse box? It's right here. Alan! Duh. Shut Honey, it's a power up! I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Shut okay. Okay? up! I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Oh. Especially when I'm not... Oh, for shit, instead of turning on the power. <laughs> it gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. No! Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old I didn't see the QR code, code unfortunately. The clicker. the clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Stop fucking on my Twitch channel! Why are they the only ones with the balcony? Bright Falls, the present day. Clicker! Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm awake. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Yes, you can. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, you Sarah a fisherman, Breaker, sir? Waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Sir, are Doctor you about to go fishing on the river? The small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Oh my god, he really is a fisher. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. He is oh, a she's fish a doctor. Beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Okay. Oh, wait, there's things I can read? What can I read? Thank you for testing the light yeah. receiver. Disappeared. Identifying features knack for winning contests. Missing Richard Bow, Bruce Stansky, Jacob Miller on a camping trip overdue. Haven't haven't been in contact. If you see them or know their whereabouts, please call five 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 nine nine three two. The, the more I see Alan's outfit, the more I end up loving it. Come in, Mister Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thanks, Bestie. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. 
Now, can you tell me what happened? No, I can't. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Love. Oh yeah, cat's missing. Poor kid. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. There was the <sighs> woman drinking for was here. Oh, and no she's gone. Luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. Hey! He started shouting hey! like that the moment he woke up. I need more light in here. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. It. I'm at Stucky Gas Station with Thornton. Like There's the no sign of him. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Here. Yeah, this hey! is Thornton. Look, God we've located the brake it. float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Here. Stucky was hey! supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, hey! give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really trashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Ooh, coffee. Thank you. Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Okay, okay, sir, I am coming. What what do you need? Hey, hey mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! Yeah, the yeah, if I do that, will you this? shut up? Thank you, man, thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong, see? No, I didn't see Nap. Wait, where was Napkin, bitch? I didn't see her. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterwards. Okay, bud. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Because here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. That only was Mentioned the last manuscript. Oh, okay. Goddamn space alien! Okay, bud. I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me. <gasps> Man script. I was drunk then. Thank you. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. I just want to fuck with audio. You tell him, buddy. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, 
folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was you just obliterated that abandoned car. You just bl obliterated that, sir. Okay. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See, nothing to it. Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mass blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? He drank his milk. <laughs> Alan Strunk. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Al! Al! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going- I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, he's just sitting there now. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's Are life is at stake, but I can't think about that. Are you sore with your eyes the open? lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Okay. Good night. Have a nice day. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff... Drunk people are amazing. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. No, have them start a band. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. Ew! I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. No! You talk to my wife. I have the Suck my toes. I don't like you. Actually, no, you'd probably like that. I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Ooh! Oh my. Take it Get him, out. Alan! What the, hey, what the nobody fuck? move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Ew. Get me out. Go away. Yeah, Barry. With your odd fashion choices and sounding like the burglar from you Home Alone. Play of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. We love Barry in this household. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. 
I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Ultimate ride or die friend, yeah. Control A to B DLC change my mind. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Oh, dinosaur. Don't look around. Port park is very pretty, though. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. Don't mind me getting the star mess. Thank you. Seller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. What if I want to go to the funny farm? Oh, poor Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, oh, Rusty, pop. right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth oh, Charlie. Poor, okay. Poor babe. Sure. Poor, poor what happened? Pup. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. Oh, puppy. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Yeah, I'm going. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? We just no, leave her. This whole thing. It... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Hmm. This is actually a really pretty park. I would go here. Who wants to go? Who wants to go to the park with me? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you stay in here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who I love how he keeps, like, we leave, and then he comes back and he's still talking. Sir? Until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last night. Come on. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure Come pressure. on, Barry. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Same bud. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. This is a nice cabin. Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. Sir. So not worth a 15% commission. Jesus Christ, Barry. Barry, no, you must never hear the end of this. <laughs> Oh, did we just knock over a plant? We did just knock over a plant. Sorry. Oh, wow. This is pretty. This is pretty. I forgot how much I love cabins. I know. Okay, okay, y'all. We're going to a cabin for a week. What are y'all bringing? Let me know. We all gotta pull our own weight and bring something. Ooh! Thermor. Wait, they have a hot tub? Yo! Poggies. Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking for manuscript pages. Bringing the PS5 and alcohol. <laughs> Bug spray. Flashlights for nighttime games. Oh, hi, Mr. Crow. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Walk through the door now. Okay, have fun. Bye. I'll bring the booze. I mean, water. <laughs> I'll bring the sweets. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I mean, to be fair, Barry, I also hate her. So, like, we can, we can hate her together on this. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. And snow boots because there's no way I'm staying in those mountains and not hiking up as high as possible. Yes. Yo, Jesus, fuck. What the hell? Okay, goodbye. What's in here? What are you? Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You'll make it sound Oh like shit, you. there's someone outside! Never seem to manage. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Tell me, oh my god! No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Fat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the live contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. Oh, good, yeah. You're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. You know what? I respect I that. Don't worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> 
Well, that, that's kind of you to say. And they're nowhere to be found. Oh, look, there's a tire swing down here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at this nice view. Y'all, we're going here. Collective trip, let's go. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I saw that the tire swing moved. I was ignoring it. <laughs> I was ignoring that it started moving. <laughs> Two blocks of brown cheese. Greenshaw waffles and a waffle iron. Oh, God. Kevin is ransacked. Okay, they're just gonna chill over there. Alright, fine. So we track down a bus. Yes. Alright. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell. As if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Check in here first, though. The ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Hello? Help. Help me. Mr. Wake? We just saw this on the page. <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. It came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, the poor Whatever dog. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. Oh, it would puppy. help me understand what had happened. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh, Paige. Was this the page she was talking about? The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact yep. turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Oh. Felt the broken ribs stabbing oh. him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Oh, Rusty. At 
the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Yeah, consider my wake, Alan. <laughs> Ryan, I hope you're well. We're playing Alan snooze. Alan taking a fat nap. Ooh, things. Thank you. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Uh oh. It's foggy. That Misa taken are here. Oh no, you're sick. Where did you just return from? From from where? From MFF? From work? From hospital? From urgent care? I hope you feel better though. If you need anything, let me know. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Oh god, the tree is now sideways. That wasn't like that before, I don't think. Midwest Fur Fest in Chicago. Oh! Fun! Yes, they do! They do need hunting licenses. Good job. Con lines are full of. Oh, the body gone. Bye, Rusty. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole Please in the wall. Don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. No bay. Oh shit! There you be. That sounds like fun, Ryan. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never Two bears and wolves never approach any other wolf closer than 25 yards. Dude, you singing? Must be leashed at all times. Never leave your pet unattended. It is against the law. To remove any natural objects or historical artifacts from the park. Gross. This includes even rocks you may find along the river. Or even simple berries! Sir. Dude, he's got I've been waiting so long till I got someone can no, you're good! You're all good. the park ranger um oh hello i love that they say random things they would usually say but in an ominous way yeah it sounds really cool oh wait there's a cache over here damn Yeah, I hit one one K I think about two months ago, I think. Three months ago. Ooh. At five minute break time. It top of the hour. It time for breaks. It time for breakies. Um okay, my dude, I'll buy a license. I now want some simple berries. Shame I was gonna miss his PSAs. 
his public service announcements. Oh my goodness. I appreciate you all spending your time with me tonight. Uh, we're finally getting into the spooky part of this chapter. Um, and like doing all the fighty fighty things. Um, appreciate you all hanging out. Don't forget to do uh, self care things. We'll be back in five minutes. Um, if a tree falls in a forest and the game is paused before it hits the ground, does it make a noise? <laughs> I'm not sure. Would it make a noise? <laughs> I will see you all in five minutes. So see you soon. Yes, you, you two heavily screamed about it, but I was being very nice. <laughs> Max Payne. Smart. I have not played Max Payne. Uh, that's the only one of, like, Remedy's games that I haven't played outside of Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2. And they're still screaming about it, honestly. Well, you're screaming about New Game Plus now. That is now the final draft. So I'm very excited to see where I still hear the screaming. <laughs> I'm excited to see what new things are added, um, though, like, I haven't played it yet. Um, so that's why I'm playing Alan Wake, because I've played Quantum Break, I played Control, and the DLC for Control, um... And then the more they talked about um, Alan Wake 2 and its connections to Control made me really compelled to play Alan Wake 1, even though I've already seen, I've already seen gameplay of it. I saw the deck arts play it. So I already know kind of what's to come, even though now, like, I'm paying more attention because, like, I'm playing it now. Um, so it makes me really excited to play Alan Wake 2, even though, like, I'm not... I'm afraid to get scared shitless, but I know it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I don't think I would play Max Payne, but I love Sam Lake is Max Payne. Yes. I love that he gets to be like the things he makes. I love that. I love that for him. He was just living his best life last week during the Game Awards. He was just living his best life. And I loved that for him. You don't have to be nice. I know what these games have turned me into. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because Ryan wasn't here, like, because, like, leading up to Alan Wake 2's release, Maz was like, do I take off work that day? And all of us had to convince her, like, you need to take off work that day. The day it comes out, you need to take off work so that you can play it because you're not going to stop thinking about it at work. You're going to be so unproductive at work. And I'm glad you took off work that day. Um, I'm just standing at the shore waiting to put Alan Wake 2. Yeah. Um, that's all. It's red free in my head. Yeah, he was so happy. Sam Allen, Max Payne, Wake Lake. <laughs> yeah, me too. I needed the day off to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I'm not sure what game that might be me for. I'm not sure if there's like a big enough game that's coming out within the next year that's going to have me like, yes, I need to take a day off to play it. Because like, I like to stream these, the types of games that have me really excited. So, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what boat I'll be in for that one. Um, honestly, Sam, if that didn't happen, Magnum and I wouldn't have started and finished the game at the same time. New Danganronpa went, no. <laughs> I don't want to play Danganronpa more <laughs> again. <laughs> um, and I don't think they're going to make another one. Sam Lake was so happy on that stage. You could just tell these games have such a passion project for him. Yeah, and that he's, like, making something that he actively cares about. Um, New John Grandpa 1, I have no idea. <laughs> Sneezing's greetings. I'm very tired. My internet is limited, but I want to say hello before my sleep meds kick in. No worries, Terp. Much appreciate you being here. I hope you are well besides sneezing and being sleepy. Um, uh, learning how to draw us to work on a comic. Oh, that's fun. That's very fun. You're always welcome to share it in the Discord server if you would like to, but no pressure if not. No pressure at all. Um, wishing you the best meme here too. <laughs> Ryan, I missed you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna jump back in here. A tree is about to fall over, so that's, that, that's a good gameplay. There we go. Oh, no. A tree did not fall over. It was just being spooky for no reason. Drop hazard? Oh, no. Oh, look. Little, little mountains. Oh, do these line up with the mountain peaks? Not really. Dang. That's unfortunate. Write that down for the science books. No tree sound. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 
but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cab. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. No tree sound. Write that down. Superhero meets Black Ops military shenanigans. Oh, that's fun. That sounds fun. Manuscript. Alan, read to us. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Put the brakes on the phone. You mean to tell me that Rusty was, the good old Rusty was cheating on his wife with a teenager? <laughs> Someone who's barely out of her teens. Excuse me, sir. No. No. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, Alan throwing Barry Surge back at him was honestly needed. Yes, yes, exactly. Rusty had some splaining to do, but now he dead. <laughs> Put the brakes on the phone and <laughs> put that in the quote channel. No worries, Terp. Have a good sleeps. Have a good mimir as a... Uh, Ryan said, we can't be doing that now. Rusty was thirsting for more than her coffee. I know, I want to hear Alan Wake singing virus alert. <laughs> if, if Matt, uh, if Matthew, whatever his last name is, I forget his last name, uh, ever does like a cameo, ask him to do that. Because Matt's the voice. Ilka does the, did the mocap while, oh, that's Lover's Peak. What's over here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Peaceful hawk and blessed shoe. Yes. Peretta, yes. Okay. Uh, that's loaded. Real Matt has a great voice. He does. Ice cream has been obtained. Yes! What flavor? What flavor of ice cream, Oz? Pie flavor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I can't get more of that, damn it. Yeah, Matthew Peretta. I knew it was like a Poe something sound, but I couldn't place it. For your safety, stay on designated hiking trail. How about no? Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave? Oh wait, there's something over here. Nummy, nummy, num. It's Ilka Vili and, and it just say Ilka. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, you also have ice cream? I'm enabling you. Go get your ice cream, bestie. You deserve it. Chocolate vanilla store. Oh, that sounds really good. Phone broke. Or, no, light phone broke. Oh, that fell. Fat breeze. Oh! Hey! That's not nice. Not fucking nice, sir. Oh, you can hear the phone is disconnected. It's a nice touch. Is that lover speak? No. 
What's over here? Playing video games has taught me don't ever go in the right direction that they want you to. See? We found a manuscript. See? See what we get? Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Oh, so Barry likes basically any woman. Or is attracted to almost any woman. Well, Al only really has eyes on Alice. Which he shouldn't. Alice is a bitch. I don't like her. Ice cream boo, I have chit. I have Chris. Aw. I would offer you some of my Christmas candy. But I know you wouldn't like it. Or you can't you can't necessarily have it, per se. Oh boy. Getting murky. The great old one. Ooh! Hello! I was about to go in there. Oh, just seeing for myself what was in there. Ooh! No! Reload! Reload your fucking weapon! No! Ow! Jesus Christ, dude! Fuck off! Oh shit, it's an actual hole in the tree! Look at that! Look at that. Ice cream obtained. Nice, what flavor do you have? Hands and feet to observe. <laughs> Ooh! Hello! Ow! Fucking hell! No! Ow! Ow! No! Rude! So rude! He's Alan Infinite Sleep. Oh, shit, we can read these signs. The Great Old One felled by lightning in 1937. The exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Interesting. All right. dude knock it off you're not cool no one likes you oh that just bounced off his body did you i slow mode that shit and the knife just like casually bounced off my body oh we have cookies and cream that sounds good ouch handle bonk alan is a hundred percent rubber I hear him behind me. You think you're sneaky, but you ain't. What, what, what was that for, Alan? Heal me. 
Heal thy strength. Ooh, page. 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 Dead why Wakeley. <laughs> I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Yeah. With headphones is my favorite way to play these games. The sound design is so good. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know if it picks up on the stream, but, like, I can hear when, like, a throwy of the sword guy is behind me. Even though it's not a sword. Throwy of, a, like, a blade behind me um, in my um, headset. Which is actually, like, it's really, really good. It's really good sound design. Alright. Cash box. Do cash in here? No. Take those, though. <clears throat> Phone dead. Hmm. I have debated maybe doing a Dead by Daylight stream at some point. I'm very baby when it comes to Dead by Daylight, though. I wasn't even over there yet. I was just going off the beaten path because I could. Through tree. Lover's Peak is that way. Okay. So what is this way? Oh, just a little picnic spot. Through tree. Can I read this? No. Through hole! Through tree! Wait, there's something over here. What are you? You look like a page on the ground, but you are not. Thermos! Yay! Ooh, this tree ring was cut from started growing in 1846, the year of the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on this ring. Uh, 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. Uh, the founding of Bright Falls Mining Co. in the town itself. 1889, Washington was granted statehood. 1929, tree was damaged in a forest fire. 1970, the Bright Falls Mining Co. closed its doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. 1980, Mount St. Helens erupts. And then 1987, Tree Felled by Storm. Um, I played Alan Wake 1 with just TV, audio, and dim. It was rough at times, but with the earphones, especially in Alan Wake 2, it just makes it ten times scarier than it actually is. <laughs> maybe, maybe, like, if I do, like, a goal or something, then I'll play Alan Wake or Alan Wake 2 with, like, no lights on and just, like, my, um, like, a candle, um, and, like, String lights in the background, and then, like, my ring light. Did you know Alan Wake is an accurate play-by-play -play representation of the Adra hike through Washington State? I would not have known that. <laughs> bonk. It's a massive bonk. He just moved that entire thing with his forehead. What a chad. What a lad. Game, I would kind of like some more ammo, please. 
that would be very kind of you, actually. Well, there's kind of branches blocking the way. Oh, wait, I could just hop this way. Yay, we did it. Yay. Alan Hammerhead. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Eldorado National Forest. Oh, okay. So Lover's Peak is all the way up there. Where are we then? Cool. I'm gonna chill here for a second. Played Alan Wake 1 for the first time in my house with the headphones on and no lights. It was so much fun that way. I didn't know you could do that. Let me go back. I need to go play with that tree for hours. <laughs> Oh, look, wow. I really want to go hiking now. Shit. Was I supposed to jump? Oh no, he's not actually dead. Okay. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Who the fuck are you? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. See them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake! You better keep up! Hey, 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 hey! You shit aim. Dude, you have such shit aim. Give me the gun. Follow the kidnapper mission objective of the year. Ooh! Tower section is why I didn't initially trust the cable carpet and control. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for back talk. Pull him off, damn it! Game was like, yeah, bestie, you kind of need to use a flare now. Just a little longer. Scare him off. Dude, you have... Do 
Dude, you have like oh, shit aim. Better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Oh, stop patronizing me, sir. Give me the fucking gun. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This is the, if we're at Lover's Peak with this Stay guy, away. does that make us gay lovers now? Stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. Yeah, yeah give me the gun. Go. Get with the program, Wake. Love this music. Yeah, I'm sad it's not on the OST. It's so good. Come on! Give me the fucking gun. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Ooh. Another hit to the head. This man now has two concussions, everybody. Two concussions. Get the gun. 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 You're gonna give me the manuscript or you'll be sorry. No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Alright. Two concussions for the price of one. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Don't like that noise. I saw you. 
I saw you, fool. Oh, bear traps. Why is it shining? Does it want- Oh, it's shining as if it's glinting. Okay. I see, I see. Oh, that's another one. I don't want- I'm fucking that. No, thank you. God, they're all over the place. I wonder if this is part of being on baby mode. Is that tells you where they are? <laughs> I wonder if that's perk of being on baby mode. So that tells you. That'd be pretty funny. Oh wait, hold on. Nice. Thank you. On normal mode, watch straight into the one thing it was a collectible. Oh! Gotcha. Ooh! dope though that we got all of them at once that's very awesome I love this music so much I, this is the battle mode this is the battle music motif which I love so much Oh god, I'm gonna get lost. I have no idea where I need to go. Do I need to go up this hill? Asking seriously. Or do I need to... Oh no, 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 there's a thing over here. Maybe it's over here. What are you? Oh! Twitch, stop twitching. Let Deviant watch in peace. Heal me. Batteries. Got a manuscript. <clears throat> Wake, here's a chainsaw. Oh no. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. I have no regrets telling you how I say battery <laughs> batteries. No, we're not trying to break break our hand today, my gay, my dude. What's in here? Thermos! Psst, psst, psst. 
Thermos. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it, I sent a shiver down my spine. Does do, taking away the black poo do anything, or is that like an achievement? Ooh, there's a thing over here. That's not what you needed to do, sir. That's not. No. That is in very incorrect, my guy. Can you actually jump? Oh, hey! We got an achievement. Find five hidden chests. Look at me go. I'm a pro gamer. What is the status on how far I am through this chapter? What is- what? The rocks sound like they were chuckling. Oh god, this looks like mini boss. Stay away from me. Way? Nah. Why is this chapter so long? I was hoping to end early. I was hoping to do some video editing tonight because I was lazy earlier and just wanted to play. <laughs> this is not three, Susie. We're playing two. This is, this is chapter two. This is not chapter three. Three is next week. I recognize this location. Yeah, this is at the mill. We're at the mill. Pew, pew, pew. Hey, Scary, how are you? Good to see you. Could we get a shout out for Scary, please? Oh, 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 Alan, 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 Alan. 
How did that do... How did that do half damage? Sir! You, you could've... You could've just, like, you know, not have done that. You could've just had, like, ankles, I guess. Ooh, scary. What's Predecessor about? I'm curious. Good as you can be? That's good. I appreciate you being here. Needs ankles so you can have, smash them and have more bones. Ooh, look, a thing. A manuscript. So, like, Smite? I've never played Smite. What does MOBA mean? The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Just a base team games where you kill min minions for gold to get items to win. Oh, okay. No worries, Scary. Appreciate you. supposed to fucking oh no I wasn't supposed to jump yet these two fools oh 25 manuscript pages look at us go when Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center it made him a believer the men Al said he'd shot they hadn't been just locals on crank somehow the world had changed hmm. like the channel had been switched without warning you think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Oh, Barry. Alan the cardio man. Remember, he's a writer, and he's not used to this. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. That's very fair. That's a fair assessment. Mmm, flares. Yummy. Thermos. I was like, where the fuck are we supposed to go? Up the ladder. Darkness wears her face. Yeah, beware the Widowmakers. Yeah, I will beware the Widowmakers who are trying to snipe me from like three miles across a map in Overwatch. Thank you. I will. Thank you so very much. Guys plays Overwatch. <laughs> that was a great dodge. Thank you. Wait, there's a manuscript page. Wait. I want the manuscript page. How? Oh, wait. I can pick it up from here. LMAO. Nice. Okay. I'm, ha I'm okay now. I'm happy. Shadow was stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. 
Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. I fucking parkour to that pit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but that's hilarious. Oh, you can't jump over this. Wait, can I push open the gate? Oh, that's what the fucking ramp is for, because Alan can't parkour like the way like the way male V can. Well the bats are running away. They don't like it here. Whoop. Figured that was gonna happen. Pussy. Dodge that gun. <laughs> Susie, you should you should not be proud. Alright, I'm gonna try with the shot the shotgun. Just had to ask you a question. Hey, hey yo. Alright, technically we already right, we just had to pick it up again. Okay. I'm trying my best. <coughs> He's having a small nap. Oh. Sir. Sir. Thank you. Ow! Fucking hurt. Drop hazard. Okay. This is so pretty. Oh, we're on the other side now. That's where we were before. We just made a giant loop. Campgrounds. Okay. Good. This is great. Oh, yeah, get away. I didn't mean to drop it. did it. Where the fuck am I going? I'm going through there. I got confused. I got turned around. It's fine. Hmm. 
Look at the sky, it's so pretty. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Makes sense that we had reception there. That was seems like to be the highest peak. Burp. I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Let me see, how many did we find? We are missing one... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I, I guess we're getting close to the end. Is that the hallway? Oh, that's so trippy. I know exactly what's coming. Unless if I don't. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a guy in the shower? Wait! Have I just been duped? I had to find the key to the garage. the garage key to get to the car but, uh, sir <laughs> what do you think i'm doing right now i am exploring my guy <laughs> dude you can the garage key had to be somewhere nearby alan alan sweetie sweetie what do you think i'm doing right now <laughs> I am investigating, is what I am doing. Oh lord, that, that glitched. Yeah, Dora, tell us what we're searching for again. Oh, tire swing. Whee! Oh my god, this is great. Best day ever. Wee! Thonk. Wait, do that sound again. That's a very nice sound. He has to narrate. He can't help it. Oh, there's the fucking key. I'm fucking blind. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change Hi, one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that was coming. 
I am actually disappointed. <laughs> Teehee! That's what happens when I watch a stream, a stream or play a game. I love when Shower Guy share, scares people. What the fuck are these controls? This is worse than Cyberpunk. He scared the heck out of me. I unfortunately knew it was coming. Scares everyone the first time. He would have scared me too, but unfortunately I knew it was coming. <laughs> That's why I've been avoiding playing Alan Wake 1. No, no, back up, you fool. Back up! Yeah, see, thank you. <laughs> Retire. I want a television the size of a billboard. Kara, thank you for the five months of support, my friend. Thank you, Lieutenant. And I just realized we are over our time to take a break, but how close are we to the end of the chapter? Are we almost to the end of the chapter? Because we'll just keep going. How close are we? Kara, I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for your support, my friend. How are you? I hope you are well. We're pretty close. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep going. Um, if you need a break to stand up and stretch a little bit, you're totally fine to go do that. But we're close to the end of the chapter, so we're just gonna keep going. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you can fire the flare gun! Wait! No, I don't want to fire the flare gun! No! I just wasted my flares! No! Rude! They don't- they disappear when you're going to the light? Oh wait, that's really cool! That's dope. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't- Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me? Yes, yes, I, I get you. Hi, Avocado, welcome. We're getting to the end of chapter two of Alan Wake. So, like, the scripted Barry stuff, I don't think it's gonna... Over the phone. Oh, God. So, I don't think the scripted stuff will get me, because I've seen it. But I think, like, when they scare me... When they come out of nowhere is when they're gonna scare me more. I think that's what's gonna happen. Al! Al, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. 
God, ow! Oh yeah, I didn't realize there was more flares here. Nice. Or does he mean the back door? Oh, he might be the back door. Hey, Al. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Damn, Alan. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? Rose, you don't sound okay. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Rose, you don't sound Have okay. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old year diner. Good girl. Um. No. Yo, copyright music. We love that for us. Yay, copyright! Woo! Yeah, copyright! Yeah, make the copyright go away! Woo! Yeah! Come here. No! Skip! Previously on no! Stop! <laughs> now in way. Get me out of here! Get me out of the game! <laughs> Napkin lady! Well, yeah, Alan Wake Chapter 2, all done. <laughs> uh, I am having fun with it. Um, 
I think what scares me the most is more when the enemies, like, are spawning at random instead of, like, the scripted sequences, because I've already seen the game played once. Um, and, like, since y'all talk about the shower scene a lot, it ingrained it in my brain, like, oh yeah, to remember the shower scene. <laughs> so sorry to make it a disappointment, but I hope y'all had some fun at my other scares in the game of, like, just random shit happening. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun playing it. I hope y'all are enjoying it, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think what's, like, driving me to, like, push forward with playing it. Shit, Mags, you shouldn't have talked about the shower. Well, I also, like, saw the deck arts do it, so I knew it was coming anyway. So there was nothing to prevent me from, uh, singing it. Or, like, preventing me from doing it. First rule about shower guy, don't talk about shower guy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm excited to finish it. Um, we'll probably do, like, the bonus chapters and then the D the American Nightmare DLC before we go, eventually go into Alan Week 2, but that's gonna be a 2024 problem. Not a 2023 problem. Coming to a t-shirt near you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm having fun with it. And I hope y'all are as well. Um, as a reminder, here is the upcoming stream schedule uh, for the week. Oh my god, wait! Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. DVA, thank you for being here for 16 months. That is almost a whole year, my friend. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, friend. Appreciate you so very much. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but... I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Appreciate you so very much, and thank you, mods. Specifically Deviant, because Deviant is resubscribing. But appreciate our, our mods for doing all the modly things and helping us do the things. And we appreciate you very, very much. I'm also here for all Alan Wake content. <laughs> Almost a whole year. Almost a whole year. Okay. Um, let me see who I want to raid. Let me see if there's, first of all, let me see if there's anyone on my list I want to raid first. And then we'll kind of go from there. Okay. Let me see. Who are you? Alright, I have to... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yes, you got a Connor! You even got a Connor. Uh, let me go to our schedule real quick. Uh, so Thursday... Well, Wednesday we'll be on YouTube doing our highlight reel for the last two weeks. Thursday we shall be back here on Twitch for some Mass Effect... Um, and then Saturday, well, Friday is going to be, um, uh, what are we doing Friday? We are doing, um, uh, movie night in the Discord server. Saturday is more Great Ace Attorney. Sunday is going to be end of the year celebration. And then Sunday, or not Sunday, and then next Monday we'll be doing chapter three of Alan Wake. Um, and my mods found raid target. We're going to go raid on over to... No Way Jose, Jose, which I think that's a really clever name. Um, so we're going to go raid on over to her playing some control. It looks like she's doing some expeditions and stuff, which I didn't really do in the base game at all. So I'm going to be interested to see what this is all about. It looks really interesting. Um, but we're going to raid on over to her. We're going to give her some love. So if you like what she's up to, please drop a follow on her channel. I am sure she will appreciate. Can you like behave, please? Thank you. Um, and yeah, then we'll be back, um, here on Twitch on Thursday, um, to celebrate me being done with work for two weeks. I'm very excited. Um, so again, I appreciate you all so very much for spending your time 
hanging out with me tonight as we played more of Alan Wake. Again, I am very much enjoying it, but I know because I'm eagerly playing through it, even though, like, I already know the plot because I am here for the content to prepare me for Alan Wake 2 because I really want to play Alan Wake 2 at some point in the future in 2024. Um, so that is, that's the thing we're going to do. That's the thing we're going to do. I'm really excited. Um, I really hope to see you all here on Sunday for the end of the year celebration stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's trivia and you don't have to know anything that happened. Just be here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you just get brownie points for being here. That's it. That, that's it. That There's no prize. It, it's just for fun. Um, and I'm very, very excited to show you all what I've been working on for it. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited to do it. So, I will see you all. I can't participate. I know you can't. But I'll still give you a... Well, you can't have brownies anyway, so it works out. Um, so, I will see you all on Wednesday on YouTube and Thursday it, back on Twitch with more um mass effect yes you can have a gold star Susie. <laughs> all right and if you love what uh josie is up to on her channel please drop a follow i'm sure she'll appreciate it and let's go right on out my name is aaron gray queer by twitch streamer signing off